Alors maintenant, on va aller dans la description avec euh, Christian York, qui est euh, donc euh, président, fondateur, copropriétaire de MVGTR pour la mobilité de demain. C'est à vous, Christian. Merci à vous. Euh, désolé, ma français, English, English. Euh, ma français est trop mauvais de okay. parler en so français. In Alors, um, sorry, uh, uh, I have so many ideas um, to present, and I need the presenter. Oh, you, uh, you oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Um, I would like to share with you some inspirational thoughts and um, ideas, projects, uh, three uh, to the count. Uh, yes, okay, yeah, yeah. It's a long nose and a long chin, so it's difficult for me to hold down. Should here. work, nobody. Um, okay, I, I'm trying to stay steady. Okay, uh, Navigator, NVGTR, uh, so we, we spared the, the nouns uh, to be quicker um, into the future. We are a Munich-based uh, design studio creating tangible visions, so we actually create tomorrow together. Uh, so we, we try to, to uh, develop ideas that become touchable and real, uh, so we actually can change the world for tomorrow and for the better. This is what we do, and we do that not only by stomach and by heart, but by also head, where we transfer insights, information, hypotheses into reality and into real products. And I would like to share three projects with you today. Um, one of them is about research and experiments. So we do a lot of research work with institutions. Uh, currently, there's one recycling and reuse of carbon uh, that is uh, very hot. Uh, uh, we also do visions where we translate ideas into something that could be believed in or actually that has an uh, attempt or something that is interesting. Um, and then we do innovation on a sort of a basis, on a reality basis, on a portfolio management level. But first, as the big idea, everything is stardust, is our motto. As you, this building, we, the world, is stardust. And it's currently changing, and we are at the wheel of being able to change that. We can design some of the changes. Some of them are natural, some of them can be enhanced, some of them are just like the basics why we are living. So remember, everything that surrounds us, everything that you are, will repeat in a cycle. So therefore, it's already a natural way of recycling things. Uh, so we, we can think about that uh, as an inspirational thought. But also, I would like to share um, with you um, that we always design for a human scale. What does that mean? That means what makes us human and how do we react to our surroundings? And we've asked somebody, uh, biologists, um, uh, neurobiologists, this is the ideal image of how we would like to live. Not necessarily as a shepherd, but we like to have something very solid in the back and we would like to have a great view. And this, of course, accounts also to transportation and mobility. But this is how reality is being designed for. So we are forced into a limited space. We are forced to strangers to look in their faces. And also we are forced in um, uh, a climate that causes stress. And if we think about uh, public transport, we should start thinking about its core purpose and how we would like to design. We want to design transport for the public. But how do public and people behave? How do they interact? How do they feel comfortable? And how can you translate that into a space that is individual, but also a common place where you would like to go? So we have an organization, this is ideal, this is math. That's people, or sort of. You have to arrange them somehow as a designer in a specific space. And then you have activity, there's order and there's chaos. But how can you reflect on that in a manner that it's open space, but also offering um, solutions that are inviting? And we had to look at that the Voronoi, a mathematical principle, helps on generating something that selects space and its interaction. Had a little test in our laboratory on developing space and 
in a cramped surrounding, adding people and more people and more people. And in the end, you come up with a structure, a grid that is designed for human scale, that this grid can be taken and transferred into something that becomes reality and bec that becomes a solution, a tangible solution that is a situation on a one square uh, footprint where three people can stand with a safe back and have an outlook into space without disruption. This is uh, a product we developed into market uh, from the first idea into, uh, into um, this solution. It can be ordered. Address will be later on. Um, and also beyond that, we have to think about city mobility as a living organism. If we think about as us as a human, we also can't sort of deconstruct ourselves out of this situation. Therefore, we believe that we have to readdress our cities and our vehicles, that they have to um, allow for different layers of pace, different speeds, similar like a meadow. Think about a, a river stream that um, that transfers into uh, a broader stream with high speed, but also with very small and uh, um, slow running arms, and transfer that into a city grid. Often people forget that if they invent the future, that cities already exist. You can't sort of adopt a city into a new grid. You have to react uh, to the city that is maybe ancient or uh, 200 years old uh, in its grid. Therefore, we had a refocus on the grid and tried to have a crossing and adopt a crossing to adaptive uh, mobility, to various speeds. So we have in this crossing various vehicles that starting from the core, which is the person who is a pedestrian, that is your, uh, oh God, Christ, what's tucked? Shit. Sorry, I don't know the English word, I don't know the French word, I only know the German word. Um, so the rhythm, uh, so the rhythm that is to this, uh, to this stream is the, the human being walking. And from there, you speed up and uh, allow yourself for various um, layers of pace. Of course, this only works if you bring in intelligence and if you bring autonomy to it. So you have autonomous trams, you have autonomous buses, you have demand responsive services that if I want to step on to something faster, I then have the opportunity not only to have this vessel uh, to my service, but I also can interactively call one as you do now with a cap or similar. Let's have a look, a closer look at one of our solutions we developed for Siemens uh, Mobility. Uh, that is one of the pots that is autonomous, um, a streetcar that uh, has, um, yeah, a look. Of course, it has, has to be attractive always. It's 12 people. It has a, um, uh, um, a solution that is built on a skeleton, so it can have uh, exchanging sides and fronts uh, uh, on a, a very simple basis. It can run in rows. It can run parallel. Um, but it not only can, can run parallel, but uh, with its sensors, it can have a rolling transition. So you step from one tram to the other while being transported, and then sw swear off again. And then with that, you have the ability of adapting various other services, like cargo services uh, with these uh, autonomous uh, vehicles. You can have um, specific solutions for local supply services, or um, that urban gardening is a sidekick, so we, you can also have plants, but not in the vehicles itself. You could, for example, as a service, have mobility market stalls, where it's been uploaded with its goods in the morning outside uh, the city, and then rolls into a space where it, there is a temporary new business opportunity, a temporary market that can be serviced with these, no more need for trucks, uh, but uh, autonomous um, vehicles that run on track. So it's an open platform, it's service diversified, um, and there's uh, a realistic solution on some of our ideas that the city center and its crossings should be a meadow with different space layers and paces.
some additional elements where you could actually lift it also with the skeleton work from uh, a, a bus situation onto a track bound situation and then beyond that you could even reach out for the sky where the sky is actually a solution for crowded cities that become more and more attractive and that's the third project we would like to share with you and that is the Autobahn uh, it's a startup from Munich that is currently in its test phase and the Autobahn is nominated for the German sustainability prize but also for the um, European Horizon 2020 prize um, and it's from our understanding a next level of public mobility where the core asset of this uh, public mobility service and its uh, product or tangible vision is that it offers public-private situations. So if we would like to com not compete, but get people from their personal vehicles into, um, into public transport, we have to offer and change the public services, the public offerings, to a more privately acceptable uh, space situation. So it not only has to be attractive from the outside, uh, but it has uh, certain elements that make it unique. It is a, a streetcar or a tram turned upside down with a lift level. So. The, um, the streetcar comes and lowers itself from the four meter high um, track um, onto wherever you would like to have it. This looks, this looks from the bottom if you look up. <laughs> the autobahn one. And some sort of that we can show that we also think about uh, the tangibility of, of the object. So it's a, it's a platform-based frame set um, with some security loops uh, for, uh, for, uh, for uh, crash testing. You have a personal comfort s situation. You have a service bar that can have, be addressed with various other uh, uh, solutions. You have a window canvas that has augmented reality or projected uh, reality uh, uh, um, on the side to comment what you're actually passing. You could have a multi-mobility uh, stack for bicycles or similar. You could have um, a travel companion that helps you to get organized within your travel. Uh, You have a workstation, you could have a cooler, you could have a co-branded uh, solution uh, for so, so extra services. You could even have a localized um, uh, parcel shelf drop-off. Um, again, the comfort of mule works at night. It's personalized. And this is how it should look when it becomes reality. You freeze it here because we're not finished yet with the Autobahn. Um, uh, it is a test track is being built just after Oktoberfest. They're not using the same meadow. No, it's different. It's different. But near M Munich, there will be a one and a half kilometer long uh, test track. There is already a, uh, um, a functional mock-up uh, that runs either one person or four people uh, set up uh, as a cabin and uh, uh, various cities and uh, uh, communities are interested in sort of a commuting bridge uh, solution with that. Um, and beyond that, uh, the Autobahn is, of course, always keen on being supported by uh, other uh, interested uh, 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 entities. So please do contact Autobahn or me afterwards, if you like, and if you would have something similar in your front garden.
Um, beyond that, we're a navigator, uh, creating tangible visions. We love to work for various companies. Um, some of them are here. It's not only me, but it's uh, two other partners. Um, and thank you very much for your time and uh, your attention. Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, uh, Christian Jorke. Uh, de ce qu'on a pu comprendre, et on en parlera pendant la, la table ronde, évidemment, voilà, il faut développer de nouvelles idées. Uh, trois bases, évidemment. Reuse, donc on en a parlé uh, il y a quelques instants. Des visions, créer des visions. J'aime bien le côté navigateur. Voilà, ça, c'est plutôt pas mal. Uh, mettre en place des, des innovations. Voilà, les choses se, se répètent. On a envie de designer à l'échelle humaine, donc ça c'est important évidemment, et euh, j'ai bien aimé aussi le design euh, Voronoi, voilà, donc ça c'est quelque chose que, que je ne connaissais pas, donc euh, ben, voilà, la mobilité, on le sent évidemment, est, est extrêmement importante, et on a l'occasion de, de développer en tout cas les, les usages selon le rythme des personnes utilisatrices, évidemment, de euh, ces différents euh, objets, et donc Auto est un, est un beau projet, et si certains, vous l'avez compris, veulent se joindre, évidemment, eh n'hésitez pas à contacter Christiane. On aura l'occasion, évidemment, d'en parler. Ça m'a rappelé l'Urban Loop, un petit peu. Voilà, le, on avait présenté il y a deux ans à euh, X-Mobility euh, cette solution-là. Donc euh, voilà, multimodalité, euh, c'est toujours euh, extrêmement intéressant.